Okay, you can't see me because I'm already finished, but I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer, and that is I am not professional, so do not, do not expect professional results. Once again, I am not professional, so do not expect professional results. You have been warned, and any expectations you have from this point on is on you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I know. In the past year, I've dyed my hair six times and I haven't documented it once. I did have a video of when I dyed my hair blonde the first time back in November of last year. But I never really showed me dyeing my hair or the process or anything. And I wanted to private the video anyway. I've always wanted to like document or record or whatever me dyeing my hair but I just never did because it's just such a process for me but hopefully this time I can do it. I'm not dyeing my hair today but I thought that I would film this intro today so that way I could film it like tomorrow or Wednesday and it would make me feel like it would help to motivate me because I already have the intro so then hopefully I'll film some of the dyeing portion as well. And I look so terrible right now because I was out of town for a couple of days and I just got back some hours ago and my head was hurting so I took a nap but my head still hurts and I feel terrible and I look terrible but here we are as you can see by the title I'm going to be dyeing my hair hopefully a ginger-ish orangey color um if you watched my last video you would see that my hair was red it was like a really deep red color you know but now it looks very brown oh I meant to put my hair down so you guys could see. So my hair was blonde before this, and so the blonde is kind of peeking through, especially on this side of my head. I had a patch of hair over here. I still have it, but it was like, my hair was blonde. It was super blonde, almost like a platinum blonde color. And so it's like really light now because I still have blonde under this. I'm kind of sad that my red hair only lasted me like three weeks because I just dyed it like three weeks from today, I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure how long you're supposed to wait in between dyeing your hair to dye it again, but I think I may wait until next week so then that way it'll be like somewhat of a full month. But I'm going to get into my new hair dye and what I'm going to be trying this time and hopefully it'll work. So let's get into that. I'm going to use the Revlon Color Silk in the color like 42 Medium Auburn I think. I'll link it down below if you're interested. But I wouldn't recommend it because it didn't last long. But if you're looking for a color that doesn't last long, then there you go. But this time I'm trying the L'Oreal Paris Feria um, in the color Intense Copper. So it looks like this. And I have two boxes of these, but one of them is under my bathroom sink because I didn't see the point of laying them both out because it's the exact same thing. And I ordered these off of Amazon. Also, I'm excited for this because it claims to be permanent at the bottom. So... L'Oreal on this better loop up to its permanent claim. I'm gonna be really sad. Um, and then here is the like color match thingy here. I would guess you could say my hair is like in between these two somewhat. Like my hair is still kind of red, but it's also blonde. So here's the back. So I'm gonna read the back. So it comes with an aromatic shimmer serum, a color booster for coppers power shimmer conditioner deep conditioning color gel and it says that it never dulls it never flats and it never wrecks so please i did buy two boxes i normally do one box for the front of my head and then one box for the back just so i can be as thorough and as even as possible i'm going to show you guys what's inside the box now so here it comes with some instructions directions and then inside there are a pair of gloves um obviously it's not open yet I've watched a few tutorials on YouTube of this color and I know that it comes with gloves. Then we have the shimmering conditioning developer and I have this power shimmer conditioner. Also I'm not really showing the steps in like a proper way but you can see this is the fourth step and the one I just showed is the second step. Then we have the shimmering conditioning color gel so it looks like this and then there's also conditioning shampoo look like this. Then there's the color booster for the copper so i guess this comes in like all their copper hair dyes i was watching one tutorial and it said depending on how intense you with the color will depend on how much you add of this but i'm just gonna add all of it i don't really care if my hair comes out orange just because in my head if it turns out super bright and orange it'll hopefully fade slower than the last one so 
If I have to look like a clown for a couple of washes, that's fine. But lastly, we just have the, the Aromatic Shimmer Serum. It's like this, and this is supposed to make your hair like really shiny. So I probably won't dye my hair until like tomorrow morning. I will say right now, I'm not going to show me dyeing all of my hair. I'm probably just going to show myself dyeing the first section of hair, and then after that, I'm going to turn the camera off because like I said, this is just need to be concentrated and pay attention and make sure that I get every last strand of hair. So I'll have to save for the intro, and now we're going to wait until tomorrow. Now they're going to Get this is really so weird because I'm just about to turn off the camera and go, like, go eat some pretzels. But for you guys, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. Time is really trippy. Bye. So here I've parted my hair into six sections. You can't really see the other two, but there are six sections. And I'm wearing my hair dyeing shirt. This is the shirt that I wore the last time I dyed my hair, which is why there are stains on it already. And here's the first bottle I'm just showing you guys. So I'm just showing you mixing up the second bottle. So there's the cream developer and I'm pouring in the gel color. Then I'm pouring in the shimmering serum thingy. And then after that, I'm going to pour in a color booster and I'm just going to shake it all up. Um, I do mix both of my bottles at the same time and I just put whichever bottle I'm not using back into its box. So that way, when I'm done with the first bottle, I can just grab the second bottle without having to do all that mixing. So I can just apply straight away. Now here, I'm just applying. So when I apply, I do apply to my roots first, but as I mentioned in the video, my roots were grown in, as you can see, so they were darker than the rest of my hair. Um, so when I apply, I do the perimeter of my section first, and then I use the little nozzle tip applicator to section my hair and then I do all the roots and then once I do all the roots in the one section I will just do the length of my hair until I'm satisfied with the saturation of it and then I'll just move on finally done i'm not even sure how long it took me normally i try to do a time trip but this time i didn't because i was just trying to get started but as you can see i'm done i don't have any plastic caps so i'm just using a plastic bag that i'm done um it i used about a bottle and a half for my entire head but i did use the other half of the second bottle to just really saturate my hair and make sure that every strand of hair was coated properly and evenly but now I guess I have more stains on my shirt but the instructions say to wait 25 minutes so I set my timer for 20 minutes um, then I'm gonna set it for probably 10 more so I think I'm gonna do 30 minutes in total so when I'm done I do have to shampoo and the directions say to shampoo twice um, so I'm gonna use one shampoo from 
the first box to shampoo all over and then use the other shampoo from the other box for my second shampoo and then you have to let this sit i don't know if i'm going to use both tubes of this yet we'll see but yeah for now i'm just going to kind of relax and work on some things that i need to work on and i'll be back right now it is right now it's 12 43 so i'll see you guys i don't know soon Okay guys, so this is the finished final look. This is how it turned out. I washed it out. I still have one tube of the shampoo and one tube of the conditioner left. So I think I'm gonna use both of those the next time I wash my hair. It's really red, especially this section right here because this is the section where I had that crazy blonde patch. So sorry I look so sweaty. I am hot from the blow dryer and the straighteners and also I'm sitting in the sun. But I did blow dry my hair and I didn't really straighten my hair. I just straightened the roots because I'm going to wave my hair tomorrow and there's no point in adding all of that unnecessary heat on my hair. I did use a heat protectant and I used a couple of oils but my hair did feel honestly really good. So I didn't add as much as I normally would. So yeah, this is my hair and I do just want to keep in mind that my hair was already like a reddish brown before I did this and now it's even more red. I feel like if your hair is blonde you would probably get more of an orange -y outcome so keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna insert one more clip. Um, I won't film until tomorrow because I'm not doing it until tomorrow but I'm just gonna insert a clip of me with my hair waved after I wave it and maybe with some makeup on just so you can get the full effect of how it will look. This is the outcome. I'm really happy. It's more red than I thought, but honestly, I feel like that color is really like there's no set outcome. It just depends on what color hair you're dyeing it on already. I got my roots pretty good. My hair is naturally black, and I did have a, like an inch of root growing back, and I feel like it covered pretty well. And my hair is patchy, but that's because my hair was already patchy. There was really no fixing that. It was patchy underneath the other dye, the other dye was patchy, and it's patchy now. But I'm getting really hot and my cat really wants to sit back in the window, so that was it for this. Hmm. On to the next clip, I guess. So you guys, this is the finished look. It's the next day. I waved my hair. I did some makeup. I used my Sailor Moon makeup. I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on this look, so if you're curious, you'll just have to wait until my next video. Just wanted to show my hair, like what it looks like when it's actually styled and I have makeup on and I'm kind of dressed up or whatever. But this is the finished final look. Um, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. It's not what I was expecting because again, in the beginning, I was going for more of an orange, copper, ginger type look, and this is none of that this is very very red but i like it and i'm satisfied so yeah that's it for this video don't forget to comment like subscribe follow me on both my instagrams which i'll always link down below and i will see you guys in my next video